Hey everyone, this is Alec here again with Petri's Family Games, and we are in new set season. We've got Strixhaven School of Mages, our magical wizard college themed set um, with five different colleges to choose from. And unfortunately, we do not have a box to open today. However, we did have a couple of pre-release kits left over, and we still wanted to open something for you guys to see all the awesome new cards from Strixhaven that we will have here at Petri's. And we do have some other product as well that is available. We have the theme boosters, which normally are color specific, um, but this time we have them and they are uh, specific to the college. Um, so this one, the Prismari, you get a Prismari pack. This one is blue and red, and these are going to be $6.99 a piece. We do have those available right now. And then we also have the bundles that are available. These are $41.99, uh, 10 draft boosters, plus a really spiffy box, as well as some really cool lands, and an alternate art premium Archmage Emeritus, which is a really good card from this set if you care about playing lots of spells. So we have these available as well. But for now, let us get to opening these pre-release packs. So who do we want to start with? We'll start with Lorehold. This was one of the ones that I was most excited about. This college is basically if uh, Indiana Jones was a wizard. They are archaeologists. They want to delve into old ancient ruins, find cool old relics, and speak with the spirits there to learn what they may. So they are adventurers, and they deal a lot with bringing cards back from the graveyard. So red does a little bit of that with spells, and white does a little bit of that with artifacts and enchantments, and so they uh, both got together here in Lorehold. So let's get this going here. Got our little spin down die and they even have the the lore hold symbol on it so that is pretty spiffy and then our promo in this is an auric lore mage and they did the uh 2021 there for these uh in that little portion right there and so that's what they decided to do instead of doing the full date um like they normally do for release weekend they're just setting it up for the year but we will leave that there and get going on our pack here and in each of these you get part of a little college map and i'm fairly certain if you have all five of these you can overlay them together to get a view of the whole college but you do get your school as the main focus in the piece that you start with all right and we've got a lore hold specific seated pack here and maybe we'll save that for the end yeah we'll save that for the end and we will open the other five regular booster packs for lore hold all right, let's get it going and see what all we're gonna get here from this new set. All right, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna flip back to the good stuff here. All right, so we got some commons here. We've got a new uncommon here, Rip Apart. Great for commander and almost any other format. Deals with an artifact or enchantment or small creature or small planeswalker. That is uh, almost anything here. This card is super, super awesome. Good for a ton of formats um, and is going to see a whole lot of play. We also got a Mage Hunter, a Reflective Golem, and a Devastating Mastery. And this card, this board wipe, oh my goodness. Right here, if you can pay that uh, that quad white cost, you can blow up everything on the board. Or if you pay four instead, you choose an opponent and they get to save two of their things and then you wipe the board of everything else. So maybe you make a cool political deal with someone and uh, get some favors out of uh, blowing up the board for only four mana. And then we've also got right here, They've included a card. These are cards from the Mystical Archive. These are instants and sorceries that they have brought back from other sets that they've put in this awesome new frame. There's one of these in every single booster pack in Strixhaven. Um, really, really cool art on a lot of these guys in their really cool frame. And then we also have a spirit token as well. All right, let's move on to the next pack here, see what we can find. I got a nice campus there. It's really cool because you can always see the, see the edge of those uh, mystical archive cards, so you know you, you've got something spicy coming your way. All right. We've got an access tunnel, way to make your small creatures unblockable. 
Humiliate, a way to discard cards from your opponent's hand and put counters on your creatures. Green Ignis, this is a, a reprint from a while ago, and it can just give you that mana boost. Yeah, you pay three mana for a 2-2, two -two, not, not the best value, but if you pay red later, you'll get three mana back, and that can just ramp you just enough, that two extra mana more than you'd have otherwise on a little guy like that. And then here we have a Dragon's Guard Elite, um, featuring the new one of the new mechanics from the set, Magecraft, which Matt cares about whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, you get some kind of effect. And the event of this Dragon's Guard Elite puts a 1-1 one, one counter on it, and then you can pay 6 mana to double the number of counters on it. So this thing can get huge if left alone, and you cast just a couple of spells. And then here, for our Mystical Archive card, we have a Compulsive Research with some really interesting kind of fractally art almost, which really works for uh, one of the other colleges in the set, Quandrix. They deal with fractals a lot too. And then we got us a foil copy of Beaming Defiance, along with a little Pest Token. And so we will keep things moving right along. Nothing? Nothing super spicy yet. We'll see... See if we can get some spicy mythics coming up in here. We got some big dragons in this set, so we'll see if we can grab any of those from anywhere. All right. Okay, we've got Devouring Tendrils. We've got a, one of those one-sided fight cards that can also gain you some life, which is a really big deal in this set. We've got a Quandrix Apprentice. We have a Test of Talents. And... Ooh, we got a modal double-faced card. They do have a few of these in the set. This is Selfless Glyph Weaver. So if you exile this, he can give all of your creatures indestructible, which is a nice little counter to the other side, Deadly Vanity, which is where you choose one creature, Planeswalker, and then you destroy all the rest. So if uh, someone's playing the backside against you, if you've got the front side to protect your board, uh, that will help keep all your guys alive. And then for our Mystical Archive card, we have a Revitalize, a nice little life gain card. There's still a lot of things in Standard that care about you gaining little bits of life here and there. And then we got us an Inkling token as well. This is the special creature token made specifically by the Silver Quill College. Every college got a mascot. And for Lorehold, it is that spirit token that we opened earlier, that 3-2 spirit token. And I'm sure we will see the rest here as we keep moving along. All right. Okay, we have a Silver Quill Apprentice here. Kelpie Guide. Closing Statement. And hey, here's a mythic. Here's a real spicy one. This is Body of Research. For green, 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 blue, 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 you make a zero, zero fractal that gets X, one, one counters, where X is the number of cards in your library. And if you're a commander player like me who plays with 100 card decks, well, it won't be a 100, 100. You'll have drawn some cards, but uh, an 80, 80 uh, would not be out of the realm of possibility. And if you're playing red, a fling starts to look real, real good for a card like that. And then for our Mystical Archive card, we have Abundant Harvest. So this card right here, you will choose land or non-land, and then you will flip cards from the top of your library until you get that, and then you put that in your hand. So it's a little bit like the old enchantment called Abundance, but this is just a one-shot. just happens the one time. But yeah, hopes you get what you need. If you really need land for your next draw, if you're missing your land drop, uh, it'll get you there. And if you need anything but a land, it can definitely get you anything but a land. All right, let's keep moving. Oh, and they... Had a little mismatch here in this pack. We uh, skipped our uncommons and went right to the rare. All right, so we've got Academic Probation. This is a lesson card. And with the lesson cards, there's a bunch of cards in the set that have an effect called Learn. When you play a card that has Learn, you can grab a lesson card you own from outside the game, so your sideboard, or if you're doing a sealed event, the rest of your sealed pool, and you can put that lesson card into your hand there from wherever it is. And if you don't want to search for a lesson card or you don't have any there, you can always rummage, which means you discard a card and you draw a card. And so this is one of the lessons here. It makes it harder for your opponents to cast spells. And this little uncommon here is going to do a lot of work in my favorite format, Commander. Solve the equation. You will tutor up an instant or sorcery from your deck and put it in your hand for only three. Add uncommon. This card is bananas. It is really, really, really good. So your 
your Cyclonic Rifts, your Blasphemous Act, you really need a counter spell because they just tutored up something good. Whatever you need, you can grab it. And then we have a Clever Lumamancer, a Zamone, Quandrix Prodigy. And all right, uh, this was just a really weird pack for us that a uh, little, little mishap there at Wizards because uh, we definitely have two rares here. So uh, I'll take it. My only thought, no, actually there's a lesson card in every pack and I think this happened to just be rare this time. And then also, oh wow, what a rare pack, my goodness. All right, so we're a, we're a four rare pack here because our foil, Tempted by the Auric, is a rare. And then uh, this Weather the Storm Mystical Archive card uh, is also a rare, which uh, gains you three life and has Storm. Wow, so many rares, one pack, a four rare pack. And a standard booster. Never thought I would see the day, but here we are, here we are. And now for the final pack, we will open our Lorehold specific pack. And these are for if you're playing sealed, gives you a ton of cards of the college that you just picked. It's actually only cards in their colors that you get in here really to help you build that strong deck. All right, we've got a Pledge Mage, Campus, a Spirit Summoning. They did one of these in every every college where it's a lesson card that makes the token that the college cares about. And so this one will create you a 3-2 red and white spirit token. Notice that it's hybrid red-white, so if you're playing Silver Quill and you tutor up this lesson, it might not be the worst. It's It'll get you a card, and it's a spell, which helps you with all those magecraft triggers. All right, let's see what else we have in here. Okay, we've got another lesson here. Start from scratch. Professor of Symbology. Dueling Coach. Hey, another mythic here. I'll take it. We got Crackle with power. I think this is one of the only big spells that I'm aware of that has X, X, X in its cost. And if you pay five mana total, uh, you will deal five damage to one target. But if you can pay eight, oh boy, you will get uh, 10 damage to two targets which is a really, really big increase in power if you can do that. So if you got a lot of mana, uh, this is one heck of a finisher. And then we got, uh, they give you two tokens. And what's cool about these tokens that they did with the college is that they are double-sided. And two of the sides are gonna be the token that the college cares about. And then the other two I think are called, are the tokens that the college might care about. So this elemental has red in it, and this inkling has white in it, which Lorehold might also be able to cast. So that's a really nifty thing with the tokens included specifically in these packs here is that they are double-sided. All right, so that is our Lorehold pack, and if that isn't the college for you, then we will move on to the Silver Quill. And these are your, this is your speech and debate club meets slam poetry rap battles right here. They, they can weave powerful magic into their inspiring speeches as well as their insults to uh, really demoralize their opponents or inspire their allies. They deal a lot with 1-1 one -one counters in this set, buffing up their own allies and then uh, tearing their opponents down with some of that slam. All right, and our promo card here, we got double major. Commander players especially are freaking out about this card here because it is a way for you to copy your commander. You need to have this out and man up for your commander, but if you can do both, oh boy, you're gonna have a lot of silliness coming your way. And then we have the really cool silver quill spin down die. And as last time, we will keep, keep that there for later and then keep our five booster packs. And then we've got our piece of the map here for Silver Quill. And once we're all done, I'll put these all together to finish out the video. So here's our bit of the Silver Quill college map. All right, and let's get going with the Silver Quill packs and see what we can get. We got some pretty good stuff there in Lorehold. We'll, we'll see if we can top that here with Silver Quill. And know that if you're not playing sealed, you can pick whatever college you want based on your draft that you're going to do. But for sealed, having one pack dedicated to that college really makes you want to play that college. Otherwise, you got a pack that is not doing much for you, and that's no good. All right, so we will move through here. 
And yeah, I believe that last pack where we got multiple rares, because right before our uncommon slot, I think we've had a lesson every time, and that one just happened to be rare. All right, we've got an Aether Helix, a Master Symmetrist, a Reduced to Memory, and a Conspiracy Theorist! A way to really get extra value out of you rummaging your cards, which is really good for Red in particular. He will make you handy, especially if you're doing wheels and you're discarding those cards, you can still get a lot of use out of them. All right, and then we also have here a Divine Gambit as our card. Look at that art, that is wild. They got to do a, a lot of fun things with the art this time around for the set, especially with those mystical archive cards. Granted, you're already in a set where there's magic everywhere. You're at a magic school for crying out loud. But uh, getting able to do some of those fun things as well with the art is really, really cool. All right, let's keep moving along here. Okay, and yep, again, a lesson right before those on commons, so I reckon that's how they're going to be doing it. We got a Professor Zymbology, an Eye Twitch, a Quandrix Apprentice, and an Elemental Expressionist. They've got a few cards hanging out like this in the set. I believe one in every college where it is four pips of hybrid all their colors. So you really, really want to be dedicated to that college if you're going to pick one of these up. If you're going to play it in your sealed pool, make sure you're solidly in that college. And otherwise, getting four pips is going to be really, really rough. Do not play Elemental Expressionist in a dedicated lore hold deck. You will not have a good time sitting with this in your hand for most of the game. And then we also have a Duress here as well. Yeah, really starting to mess with the mind there. You got hands reaching down into the mind. Oof, that's a little grody. <laughs> little grody looking there. But hey, that's a black card with hand disruption for you. That's what they do. All right, moving right along. Yep, got an elemental summoning. We've got ten the pests, and we will talk a little more about pests when we get to the wither bloom. And we've got another solve the equation. Very nice. A clever lumomancer, and a Strixhaven Stadium. So if you want another way to win the game, we've got one right here. If you can hit your opponent with a lot of creatures. You will get enough points to win the game, but make sure they don't hit you back or you will start losing points. You can't go negative, however, but if you are playing a go-wide token strategy, yeah, this is, a, this is a way to do it. And you also don't have to wait till your upkeep like you normally do. And however, oh, I was mistaken. This is not a win the game card. It is a player loses the game card. So when you have enough points, you remove them all and the player you just hit loses the game. So it will not just instantly win you the game, but it will certainly make sure that someone else loses. And then we have a Defiant Strike right here as our Mystical Archive card, along with a very shiny Pillar Drop Warden, Spirit Dwarf. So if you've got a Dwarf Tribal deck like I do, you are very happy that this card exists because you want all the Dwarves that you can find. All right, let's keep moving right along here. Got two regular packs left for the Silver Quill. All right, all right. Moving along. Hey, we've got another rare lesson here with Basic Conjuration. Uh, you look at the top six and you grab a creature from among them and put it in your hand and gain three life. A lot of things right there for only three mana, not too shabby. And we've got an Ardent Dust Speaker, Mentor's Guidance, Rutha Mercurial, artist and hey we've got a mythic here that's a great way to keep this going so we've got extus Arik overlord i believe he is the main antagonist for the set in strixhaven trying to bring back the blood age and then on the back you have him trying to do just that with awaken the blood avatar and for all you commander players yes you can have this sorcery in your command zone with auric on the other side as a black white red deck so go wild friends and then we've also got a really cool looking here, Swords to Plowshares, as our Mystical Archive card. That is pretty awesome looking, as well as an Elemental Token. All right, last regular pack here for the Silver Quill, and don't forget we still have that Silver Quill specific pack that we started with right here as well. So let's see what all else we can find. All right, we've got Show of Confidence, Tenured Inkcaster, a Prismari Apprentice, 
And Wither Bloom Command. Well, not going in the Silver Quill deck, probably, unless you're splashing colors. However, they do have a command in all of the color combinations that give you four different modes to pick from, and you can pick two. They're very, very flexible spells. I'd recommend any of them in a sealed deck or even in draft as long as you're in those colors or even if you can splash that extra color you need. If you're able to splash green in your Silver Quill deck, go wild here with Witherbloom Command. And we've also got a really cool looking God's Willing here from the Mystical Archive. That is spicy looking if I do say so myself. And then uh, hey, that was a thrilling discovery and so is this right here in foil. All right, so let's see what we can get in our silver quill pack. Hopefully something extra spicy. We got a mythic in the last one. We'll see what this one holds. All right, all right. Okay, secret rendezvous. So commander players rejoice. A white now has a dedicated way to draw cards. You have to let someone else draw cards too. So it's white, white sharing the love like white does, but you can make political deals out of this. Hey, draw three cards and you leave me alone for a turn. Or don't swing your big board at me that you have this turn if I give you these cards. So uh, never forget that when you have resources to offer your opponent, you can get good things out of it. We've got a Mage Hunter, Killian Ink Duelist, and a Poet's Quill final card here that does have Learn on it as well, so you can go grab one of those Lesson cards and then give your creature Lifelink. Not too bad, honestly, in a Witherbloom deck that really cares about gaining life, and it is also in black. And then we've got our two tokens here, and flip them over double-sided, we've got Double Inklings here for the Silver Quill which I believe in the lore, it's they're like magical insults so powerful that they've created this weird form of life that come out of their magical quills, and that's what the Inklings are. So there you are. That was our Silver Quill, and we will move on here. Next up, I've got Prismari, so we will keep moving with them. And Prismari here, they are in blue and red. They are your theater kids. So they are dancers, they are musicians, they are artists, and they will make themselves known and make a splash no matter where they're going to be. So we've got a cool little Prismari die here, kind of stippled in blue and red. And we have our Prismari part of the school map as well. I'm really looking forward to putting this all together here at the end of things. Lots of fire and water, and they are the elemental expressionists, which is why their elementals look like they're made of water and fire and paint. They're really, really cool looking. All right, our pre-release card. Hey, that's an appropriate one. Afrit Flame Painter um, has a way for you to cast free spells. And uh, if you don't know anything about magic, when you can ignore mana cost on spells and get them for free, you're having a good day. A real good day. All right. And let us get our packs going here. And thus far, I have seen a Pledge Mage on top of every single one of these, and so I'm pretty sure that is guaranteed, along with a Campus in there, which it is a tap land, so it's a little bit slower. However, it is going to fix your colors, and if you can't do anything else with your mana, scry away, scry away. All right. Let's see, let's see. Hey, speak of the Campus, there we are. Okay. All right, we've got us here a Mage Hunter, Overgrown Arch, Rip Apart again, and Multiple Choice, another not exactly modal spell. Um, so it's X and a blue, and you scry one if X is one, and then draw a card, and if it's two, you choose another mode. If it's three, you choose another mode, and if it's four or more, you get to do all of the things. So that is a good time. Man. That is a really, really powerful spell. I guess you wouldn't need X to be much more than four unless you have some benefit towards casting big spells, which the Prismari definitely, definitely care about casting their big spells. And then we also have an alternate art cultivate here, straight from the Mystical Archive, along with a foil copy of Exhilarating Elocution. Very Silver Quill there in the name with their fancy words. And of course they would, their Silver Quill. All right, and we're gonna move right along here. Got a clever Lumamancer, Zamone Quandrix Prodigy, Flunk, great name, just just straight Flunk. 
And then we have a draconic intervention, because don't forget, we haven't seen any yet, but there are a bunch of mythical dragons in this set, and this is going to be a board wipe if you have spells in your graveyard that will hit everything but your dragons. So be careful about most of your other creatures that you have in this set, because I believe there's only the five dragons, and they are at mythic. And then we have a really, really cool negate here from the Mystical Archive, along with a spirit token. Here's hoping we see one of those dragons. I haven't seen too many yet from my friends open in packs, but we'll see if we can find one here amidst all of these. All right, we've got more Devouring Tendrils, a Team Pennant, a Creative Outburst, and another multiple choice question. All right, well, that seems to be the popular mode on this test is multiple choice. And then we have a non-foil duress, which we have already seen, and a foil reconstruct history here. And man, this is a crazy lore hold card. If you have lots of things in your graveyard, it'll bring back an artifact, enchantment, instant, sorcery, planeswalker, all that from your graveyard back to your hand, and then you exile the spell. That is a lot, a lot of cards back from your hand. So if you are milling yourself at all in red-white, this is a card that will get a lot, a lot of things back for you if you built your deck right. Okay, okay, let's keep moving along here. We have another access tunnel. Humiliate, another grinning Ignus, and Plarg, Dean of Chaos. They have one of these modal double-faced cards in every college that has two of the deans from that particular college. So we have Plarg, a Dean of Chaos, on the one side. And then on the other side, we have Augusta, Dean of Order because that is for the red-white Lorehold College, so you got options right there, friends. Along with an Urza's Rage. Wow, this looks really cool, and I have myself a deck that cares about instants, and I might pick that up just because it looks super, super awesome. And that's a good enough reason to run cards in Commander, because you can afford the slots most of the time. All right, last regular pack here for the Prismari. Yeah, great Prismari card here. Also one of the cutest cards in the set, if I do say so myself, with Spectacle Mage, this cool little bird shaman making a fire and ice out of his hands. He looks awesome. Sad he's not a wizard for my wizard deck, but you can't win them all. All right, we've got Golden Ratio, a great draw card, I think, in Commander. Draws you a card for every different power among creatures you have for only three mana. That is really, really good. And then we've got a Karak Wrangler, a Shadewing Laureate, and Semester's End, another great card if you need to flicker your board to protect from a board wipe. Uh, that is a great card to do it. Also, we'll flicker your commanders and... Uh, sorry, not commanders, your planeswalkers, rather, which I guess would have to be your commander between the two. Creatures will come back with an extra counter, and uh, planeswalkers come back with an additional loyalty. All good things. And then we have a village rights here, along with... Uh, hey, for you squirrel deck players, here's a scurred colony just for you. Just so you can get your really creepy looking squirrel that looks like it might eat you if you got lost in its forest. Nothing to worry about, I'm sure, here on Strixhaven. I'm sure you've taken all the magical precautions you need to keep such pests away. All right. Move along here through our Prismari pack. See what we can find. Oh, I've got a storm kiln artist. He makes treasure for all your instants of sorceries and the ones you copy. Great, great commander card if you're in a spell deck. Practical Research, Expressive Iteration, and an Archmage Emeritus. This is exactly the card that the Prismari want. He draws you cards for all of your cast and copied spells. He will get you that all day, and blue-red is definitely the colors to do that in. And we've got a treasure, and a spirit, and a couple awesome elementals. All right, let's keep things moving. We are going to move on to the Witherbloom College, and then after that we will finish things off with Quandrix. But for the Witherbloom, these are your rebel kids, your punk kids who want to hang out in the swamp and be obsessed with death and experimenting on little pests. So if you're into something a little bit darker, then uh, Witherbloom might be for you. All right, all right. Black and green with the white text and their cool little potion on there as their symbol. That's really cool. And for their pre-release card, 
We've got a Vine Glimmer Snarl. This is definitely something you'd want in your Quadrix pack if you opened it. The cool little cycle of lands that they did here. There's one in every color pair. And if you can reveal a basic from your hand, a basic forest or island card. Ah, oh, sorry, not even basic. So if you're doing shock lands, this would count those as well. And this would enter untapped and taps for both of your colors. All right, all right, and we will save, save our pack there, as has been our custom. Rest of the booster packs, and for our map here, let's look at, look at the wither bloom. Oh, that's cool, cool, cool swamp tree, little kind of spirit life essence, some cattails, and you've got a dryad there drinking some tea, containing who knows what, but be careful because. Uh, they do some weird experiments there in Witherbloom, and uh, you might not want to ask what's in your drink. Okay, let's keep things moving right along. And get right to our lesson, okay. Got a Witherbloom Apprentice, an Ingenious Inspiration, Deadly Brew, and hey, another body of research. Another great mythic for making giant, giant beaters. And then for our Mystical Archive card, we have an Adventurous Impulse, along with an Elemental Token. All right, let's keep moving on here. Oh, we got another rare lesson, very nice. We got Teachings of the Archaics. These appear to be some giant multi-limbed creatures that wander around on Strixhaven imparting knowledge of the ancient magical ways which any student at Strixhaven would be happy to learn, I'm sure. And then we have us here a Hall of Oracles. Gets you mana of any color and can put counters on creatures as well if you start casting instants or sorceries. And then we have a lovely flicker spell here with Ephemerate, very beautiful angel there on that card. And then we have a pest token, which you will see a lot of in Witherbloom, and they care a lot about gaining life in Witherbloom, and these might just be little one ones, but when they die, you get a life. And if you have ways to sacrifice them, which Black Green always does, then you are gonna get a lot of value out of being able to do that again and again with all of your little pests as well as keeping your life total very healthy with all that life gain you're doing. And another teaching of the Archaics, just back to back, back to back rare lessons, we'll take it. And a Professor of Symbology, Karak Wrangler, Shadewing Laureate, and a dramatic finale. This card right here, man, if you are doing lots of tokens in your black-white deck, whoo, what a finisher. I mean, it has finale in the name, what else can you expect? But yeah, getting a lot of tokens out, again, with that four pips, you really, really want to be in Silver Quill to run that. Probably not here in Witherbloom, because getting four black sources is going to be really, really rough for you. But then we also got a Whirlwind Denial, and hey, a Foil Rare here in Manifestation Sage. That is really cool looking there in the foil. And hey, it even came with a Fractal Token, which uh, this card definitely, definitely cares about. But we'll talk a little more about fractals once we get to the Quandrix here with our last pre-release kit. But we are not quite there yet, so we will keep things moving. All right, all right. We've got a pest summoning here as our lesson. An awesome turtle druid here, a Quandrix cultivator, a wormhole serpent, a fortifying draft, and Cody, Vociferous Codex. Oh no! Well, if you want to run your five color, I want to play lots of spells. Dot deck. Cody is the card for you. He will not let you play permanent spells, so you can still play lands, but any artifacts, enchantments, creatures, planeswalkers, Cody doesn't like them at all. But he will dig for spells for you and start giving you mana so that you can cast those spells. So a very interesting commander build for sure. If I got that in my sealed pool here, I probably wouldn't run it because being able to not cast my creatures, which is typically how you win games of limited, uh, would be a little rough. Unless you have a way to give it to your opponent, and then maybe so. And then we have ourselves a Revitalize as well. All right, last regular pack here for Witherbloom. Here's hoping for a dragon. We still haven't seen one yet. I hope we can find one. All right. Okay. We have a start from scratch. Ruth a Mercurial Artist. A Thunderous Orator. 
and a Verdant Mastery. This is another one of those spells where you can pay a reduced cost for the spell if you're willing to give your opponent a benefit. In this case, it's lands, so be careful ramping your opponent. And then really cool Mythic Rare Mystical Archive card here in Blue Sun Zenith to draw all of the cards and then shuffle back in your deck so you can do it again. All right, this Witherbloom pack now. We'll finish out our college here at Witherbloom, and then finally we've got Quandrix coming up next. But before we get to Quandrix, let's see what else Witherbloom has to offer for us. All right, we've got Go Blank, a great discard card because it gets rid of your opponent's entire graveyard after they discard. Great card here. Flunk, Dina Soulsteeper, and a Callous Blood Mage, and another card that will deal with a whole graveyard or make a pest or draw you cards. All of those options are really, really good options. And then we've got a Fractal, an Inkling, and a couple of pests. All right, that was Witherbloom, and finally we will move on to the Quandrix College, where they say, as was used in the advertising, math is magic. So if you are a numbers nerd, this is indeed the college for you. All right, got our spin down die here with their cool little geometric symbol there. We've got the final bit of our map. And we will show the full thing once we've finished off here. Yes, got the Quandrix College here. Very kind of geometric patterns going on there with their campus. And our pre-release card here is something awesome. A Fury Calm Snarl. Another one of those awesome lands. Again, we didn't even get the lands in the in the right packs for the colors that they needed, but that's okay. They're still going to be really awesome uh, in Commander, especially, or in Standard, too. Um, we don't have the Shock Lands right now, but we do still have Triomes, and Triomes definitely, definitely count. All right, keep our special Quandrix pack there and get the rest of these going. All right. Five more regular boosters left. Here's hoping we can find a dragon. I'm really, really hoping for a dragon. Why? Dragons are awesome, that's why. What kind of a silly question is that? Okay, we've got a Humiliate, a Storm Kiln Artist, an Access Tunnel. Hey, I was just talking dragons. Velamachus Lorehold, there you are, and you've never looked more beautiful. Man, this pack uh, would really be leaning towards uh, towards Lorehold between that Fury Fury Calm Snarl as well as Velamachus. And he will get you free spells off the top of your deck. So even in Commander, yes, seven's a lot in red and white, but if you can do it, and if you've got some juicy, juicy spells in your deck, you are going to have a great time. And then we got us another Duress, along with a Foily Bookworm and a Fractal. And the way the Fractals work here in Quandrix is they are zero zeros, but they will always enter the battlefield with some 1-1 counters on them. And if you can throw more 1-1 counters, yes, they will indeed get bigger for you. Okay, we've got a Spirit Summoning here, Spell Satchel, Golden Ratio, Karak Wrangler, and a Sparring Regimen. Let you put 1-1 counters on creatures when they attack and untap them. Only one per combat, and it also learned the first time you come out, so that is not a bad way to do things. Whoo, man, two Mystical Archive cards, because one of them is in foil. So we've got a great Storm card here with Tendrils of Agony. This will definitely win you the game if you can get enough Storm Count to drain your opponents out. And then we've got a foily Thrill of Possibility, which looks cool, even not in the foil, and so with the foil, looks awesome. Love it. All right, let's keep on moving here. And don't forget that all of these Mystical Archive cards, even though they are not standard legal, if you open them in your sealed kit, run them all day and have a great time. Okay. We've got another Flunk right here. Silver Quill Apprentice. Detention Vortex. And Double Major. Wow, this pack is going really, really well for Commander players so far with Velimachus and this double major right here. And then we have ourselves another Revitalize. All right, two more regular packs left. We found a dragon. I'm having a good enough day with that, but let's keep going and see what else we can find. All right, we've got a Shadewing Laureate, Professor of Symbology, Mentor's Guidance, 
and another Strixhaven Stadium to score those points and win the game and make someone else lose. As well as a really cool looking Mystical Archive, Lightning Bolt. You will have a great time there with Lightning Bolts. There's a reason it hasn't been reprinted in a standard set in a long time. It's just that powerful. We normally get shocks nowadays. But yeah, back in the day, Bolt was the standard. All right, let's keep moving. Almost there. We've got a Decisive Denial. An Honor Troll. Lovely puns. Always love the puns. An Umbral Juke. And Semester's End. Another big board flicker here. And Regrowth, a very, very nice card that will bring back anything from your graveyard back to your hand. That spells here, or if you're a big awesome creature like Velimachus, if he dies, you can bring him back right here with the Regrowth. And we will finish things off here with our Quandrix. Quandrix only booster. Who knows, there could still be one more dragon in here. All right, all right, let's see. Got a Test of Talents, a Quandrix Cultivator, a Bookworm, and another Manifestation Sage. That is really nice. It'll make a Fractal and put X counters on it where X is the number of cards in your hand. And if you're going to miss out on turn four, you could still make a 3-3 three, three, or a 4-4 four, four with this. So not bad at all, as well as an Elemental, a Pest, and a couple of Fractals. All right, and before you go, we hit, we need to see this campus map with everything put together. Moving the giant stacks of cards aside. All right, let's see. So we've got our, our Quandrix campus. And we've got our, our Witherbloom campus down here, I think somewhere in the middle. Let's see if we can put this together. We'll, we'll find out. So honestly, it might be. Yeah, there we go. Let's, let's match up the feet. Matching up the feet will probably probably help make this happen a little bit better. And then we've got that there for the Prismari. And then we've got the lower hold right there. I'm wondering if we're going to have a hole in the center. There might be a hole in the center of the campus map. I think there's a bit of a hole in the center of the campus map. We don't get the full full picture here in the center, but the rest of it, you get all five of your colleges there represented. And I believe this uh, library in the center is the Biblioplex, the repository for all the spells in the multiverse found on Strixhaven. So thank you so much, guys, for being with us today, opening up these pre-release kits for Strixhaven. And again, we do still have the theme boosters, as well as the bundles here available at Petri's Family Games for Strixhaven. Hope you guys opened some awesome magical wizards and amazing spells, and we'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.